Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about microservices and by end of this video, you would be able to explain microservices by yourself. Alright, so that being said, let's begin the video. Now, before we talk about microservices, we need to understand something called monolithic architecture. So this is the current style that we follow and most of the companies are still following the same style. So in monolithic architecture, what happens is that you have one big war file or EAR file and this particular war file or EAR file has got all the modules of your application. It has got all the UI components, your business logics, your data access layer and everything. So one big EAR file or war file includes everything required to run your application. All right. Now, there are numerous advantages of having a monolithic architecture, but here I'll talk about few major disadvantages of monolithic architecture. Now, the very first is, is to make a change. But you want to update any feature or you want to include a new feature in the application, you need to redeploy the entire application, right? Second problem, if any of the module goes down of your application, your entire application will be down and you will have a huge business impact. Now, the next problem, for example, if you want to handle huge traffic coming to your application, you need to deploy the same application, the big application on multiple servers. But microservices can short out these issues and we'll talk about microservices very soon. All right, so let's move forward. Now, the very first thing which you must know is that microservices is just a way to design an application. So when it comes to microservice architecture, it is just a way to design an application. So when you design your application, you talk about all the different microservices. You talk about the communication between the microservices and you also talk about the technology stack. All right. Now let's see here, for example, you have one big monolithic architecture. So when it comes to microservices, what you do is you first of all, you basically you break down your big application into small, small modules. So you have one big application having six or seven modules. You break down, you break down your application into small, small modules and each module of your big application becomes a microservice, right? For example, you have got one module your products module becomes a product microservices your pricing module becomes pricing microservices your cart module becomes cart microservices similarly check out payment and marketing so basically each single module of your application becomes a microservice right so now here you can see we have got different different microservices and you can work on each microservices independently and you can talk about the communication now if you see here your product microservices is communicating with the pricing microservices and both of these microservices are using same database but if you see cart microservice it is independent and it has got its own database similarly with the checkout right so when you talk about microservice architecture you basically break down your big application into small small modules and each module becomes a microservice all right now we'll talk about more about microservices in this video. So let's move forward. This is a microservice. It needs to follow some principles such as the very first is single responsibility principle. It means each microservice can do one task at a time. So one microservice is responsible for one task, right? Now the next is built around business capabilities. It means, so basically initially we had one big application. Now we have break down that application into small small microservices and now these microservices work together to achieve your business objective right so each single microservice is contributing something to achieve your business objective this is what we call is that your microservice is built around business capabilities now the next principle is isolate failure so it means if microservice one goes down, it will not impact the other microservices. Next is deploy independently. It means you change something in one of your microservices or you just want to update some feature or you just want to 
add a new feature in one of the microservices so you can do that and you can deploy that application independently so each microservice can be deployed independently so if you are working on microservice one it will not impact any other microservices now let's talk about one business case for example here you can see we have one monolithic application which is one war file or it could be a ar file and this particular application has got multiple modules like admin attendance appraisal payroll employee and all right now we'll convert this monolithic architecture into a microservice architecture so now here you can see if you guys remember earlier we just had one file or er file but now if you see here we have got different different microservices so we have got one employee microservice which was a module module payroll module became a, another microservice attendance module has become a new microservice and a present module has become a, another microservice so now we have got four different different microservices so basically each module has been converted into a microservice so now if you see here employee service is one war file for payroll we have got another war file for attendance we have got another war file for appraisal we have got another war file and for your admin module we have got another war file right so each single module of your monolithic architecture has become a microservice here in this architecture right? and here we have defined the communication that admin can communicate with the employee or with the payroll or with the attendance microservices through a rest api call and each microservice has got its own database right so this is how a microservice architecture will look like in a real life so you would be having multiple war files but this time it would be very less in size so each war file is just responsible for limited or for one functionality only now let's talk about another example so here you can think of this is one my shopping application and i've got six modules here product discovery basket payment pricing checkout and marketing basis so i have got one big 50 60 mb war file one monolithic architecture right now if i have to convert this particular services i have to break down the modules and i have to take one module and i have to convert this particular module into a microservice so what i will do i'll take product discovery module and i will convert into a product microservice similarly i'll take pricing module and i will convert into a pricing microservice i'll do same for others for basket cart microservice for checkout module checkout microservice for payment module payment microservices right so basically you need to take one module and convert that module into a microservice so apart from converting each module into a microservices you also need to define the communication between the microservices and you also need to talk about the database as well microservices standards you need to have your one microservice should have its own database but yes you can allow multiple microservices to communicate with each other and can have access to the same database depending on your business requirement all right so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching bye for now and please do subscribe my channel